G'day, Hayden here at Pacific Toyota, giving you the personalized high definition virtual tour on our 2017 Holden Colorado Trailblazer. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is show you through the entire vehicle. So we're gonna start off in the engine bay. As you can see, I've got the bonnet half pop there. Um, so A, we'll make sure there's an engine um, and obviously then we'll work our way through all the paint and panel of the vehicle. Um, now, if there are any imperfections on the car, we'll point them out. Um, that way there's, uh, no, I guess, no hidden surprises. Um, and then from there, we'll work our way into the interior of the car, um, going through all the condition inside there, as well as all the uh, instrumentals and service history uh, that comes with it. Um, so we'll dive straight in. We'll pop this bonnet here. Give you a look inside. As you can see, it's nice and tidy under the hood. Um, we do have that lovely 2.8 litre turbo diesel Duramax engine. It's all nice and tidy under the hood as you can see. So, if you look down the front of the bonnet there, as you can see, all nice and straight. There's no visible dents or anything like that. Now there are a couple of scratches just on the bonnet here. Uh, most of this stuff should just hopefully buff out. Um, there are a couple of little marks on here which have already been touched up as well. A couple here as well. Oh, that's just a few little stone chips. Um, other than that, there's no major damage or anything like that on the bonnet, which is good. Through the front bar area, we do have front facing sensors just down below as you can see. Front of the bar's in uh, reasonably good condition from what I can see there, which is good. There is a small stone chip just down the base here. And a couple here. Uh, rims and tires, so they are a uh, factory alloy wheel. Um, and they're an 18 inch. Um, and obviously we've got a Dunlop all-terrain tire on there as well. As you can see, heaps of tread left on those, which is good. Just showing you through all the panels down the uh, driver's side here. From what I can see, everything seems to be nice and straight. There's no visible dents or anything like that, which is good. Uh, Paintwork wise through this side. Seems to be all in good condition so far. We do have uh, obviously running boards down on the base there. Dust. Coming through to the rear of the car now. Again, reversing sensors across the back and also a reversing camera. A couple of little marks. Um, uh, it looks like most of this should just come off with a bit of a, uh, a cut and polish. Uh, most of that's just coming off with my finger. So, um, same with this stuff here. As you can see, it was just coming off with my finger there. Um, there are a couple of deeper scratches which have already been touched up. Got one there, another one there. Um, but the rest of this stuff should just come out with a bit of a clean. Um, but other than that, there's no major damage on the uh, on the back, which is good. Just open this up, give you a look inside. Obviously, we do have seven seats. They fold down like so. Um, they are obviously leather interior as well. A little nice and tidy through the back there. Bit of the back compartment which is holding the cargo blind in. Close that one down. Give you a look down the passenger side this time. Again, as you can see, nice and straight. No visible dents. There are a couple of really light scratches um, just on here. Again, these should just come out with a bit of a buff. There's a couple of deeper ones which have already been touched up. on this guard here. Same here, follow through onto the bonnet. So again, most of this stuff should just come out with uh, with, a, with a decent buff, which um, I can definitely organize for you. Um, but look, around the actual vehicle itself, there's no major damage. Couple of little, uh, little stone chip marks here and there. Um, but other than that, all in uh, reasonably good condition for the age of the car. 
Um, so I'll show you through the second row of seats here. See inside we do have the leather interior as I mentioned. 12 volt auxiliary port in the back. Air conditioning through the roof. Um, but all in really good condition through there which is good. Just jump in, turn the car on, show you through obviously the interior, uh, through the uh, front of the front seats. Um, we do have two genuine remote keys here. So that's your driver's seat there. And then that's your passenger seat. So again, all in really good condition. Alrighty. So as you can see there, no warning lights on the dash. We are showing 85,524 k's on the clock. Um, all your steering wheel controls. So we've got um, obviously all your stereo on Bluetooth here, all your cruise control options, and we do obviously have your collision uh, alert or full collision mitigation. Uh, over here, we've obviously got your um, interior light. Um, you've got your adjustable headlights. That's all your headlight controls. And then over here, all your window, um, your side mirror, and obviously your central locking. Uh, buttons just here into our infotainment system now that is a, uh, a full touch screen system as you can see there I'll turn it up so you can hear it at the moment thank you so much holy I think I might cry so as you can hear there all the speakers are working nicely it is fitted out with your reversing camera as you can see um, obviously they tie in with the front and rear sensors as well um, does come uh, equipped with your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Obviously, you need to plug that in to, uh, to get that, but it also has inbuilt satellite navigation also. Um, moving along, all your air conditioning controls are just down below that. So it's a uh, climate control setting, so you can actually set your ideal temperature. And then down here, we have uh, your lane departure warning, um, your traction control, downhill assist control, and all your par uh, parking sensors. Now on the actual side mirrors themselves, um, you're probably not gonna be able to see that. I might just wind the window down. So in the actual side mirror itself, you can see it has two little cars there. Um, now that is obviously your uh, blind spot alert. So they'll illuminate orange when there is a car in your blind spot. Um, down here, obviously uh, control the rear AC, and then you do have heated uh, seats for both the driver and passenger. All your driving modes, your full driving options there cup holders center console where you'll find your usb and your aux and then in here is all our books and service history so it was a, uh, a privately owned vehicle so we have the first inspection 13 26 38 50 63 77 and then again with us at 85 so as you can see there it's always been done with islands apart from the one that's been done with us um, now islands are the um, manufacturer for were the manufacturer for holden um, so it does have a full holden logbook service history um, but obviously inside the car um, the car's immaculate inside um, there's really nothing to sort of report in here which is good um, so we'll jump out and give a final look over the vehicle now Alrighty, so that is our 2017 Holden Colorado Trailblazer. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. We look forward to hopefully doing business with yourself very soon. Cheers.